he thought that doing prolo into that would be like the stupidest thing you could do, mm -hmm. which at face you think, okay, I kind of agree with that. But then you also have to remember that for the last 30 years, docs have been doing blind. <laughs> First, learn about fat pad injections. Um, nowhere. You just thought about it. So, uh, what? So, I'll walk you through how how this kind of came about. So, I had a patient who um, he had chronic Achilles tendinopathy, and um, like which was confirmed via MRI and my ultrasound scan he had um, both at the anthesis and in the actual tendon. And so at first we did uh, prolotherapy to the calcaneal insertion um, and he had, uh, it was maybe like a, uh, actually I think at the, that first one he had no improvement, no improvement with prolo. So I said, okay, let's step it up, let's do PRP. Uh, we did PRP, and this time we did the insertion, and then also intra-substance into the areas of degeneration in the tendon, and he got maybe 10% better. Um, and so, and then I believe I did a second one. Um, say, okay, let's just let's repeat it. Let's see what happens. No change, like zero percent. Um, and so I started to dig into the research just on. Uh, chronic tendon Achilles tendinopathy and this article came up from 2015 that was inflammatory and metabolic alterations in the uh, Achilles fat pad in patients with Achilles tendinopathy mm -hmm. and that article basically just showed that there was uh, a, a change in inflammatory gene expression they didn't they didn't measure um, actual enzyme like protein level changes they measured it at the uh, at the genetic level but they saw increase in TNF alpha IL6 IL10 um, the IL1R and so um, so I basically went to the patient and I said hey I've got this really random theory mm -hmm. and I want to just try and I'll just do an injection of PRP into your fat pad. And I was like, I won't charge it because I have absolutely no idea what this is going to do. I don't think it's going to make you worse. Mm -hmm. It could make you worse because I literally have no idea. Um, so I did uh, five cc's of PRP into his fat pad. And three months later, he was 75% better. Mm. And so that then was just like that huge light goes off, like, holy shit, there's something here. Mm -hmm. And then I started to dig more into the research. And um, I still, to this date, have not, there's been no uh, studies on injections into fat pads. Um, there's a, a case study that I came across on fat pad degeneration following a uh, steroid injection into Hoffa's fat pad for um, uh, Hoffa's disease, uh, which is basically fat pad impingement and degeneration. Um, there's been studies on uh, outcomes from total knee replacements where they leave the fat pad at versus removing the fat pad. And actually, uh, if you remove the fat pad, patients then have more anterior knee pain um, than if you leave the fat pad. Um, but there's been no other interventions on, uh, on that. So mm -hmm. then I've just been playing with it. I've now done bone marrow. I've just about done everything. Bone marrow, prolo, PRP, um, PRP with exosomes, um, perineural, adipose. And they all seem to, they all seem to do well. I think prolotherapy is probably the, like, I generally don't do prolo into the fat pad. Just because I think, I think the only benefit you're getting from doing a 20% injection of dextrose into the fat pad is the effect of the dextrose on the trip V1 ion channels because there are C fibers in the fat pad of the knee mm -hmm. when they're making substance P. Um, because I don't think, I mean, while there are some fibroblasts in the fat pad, I mean, we're not looking to increase fibrosis in the fat pad. But I also don't think it, like I was talking to a doc about this, 
six months ago and he thought that doing Prolo into that would be like the stupidest thing you could do, mm -hmm. which at face you think, okay, I kind of agree with that. But then you also have to remember that for the last 30 years, docs have been doing blind anterior knee injections where 30% of the time they're going to be injecting into the fat pad mm -hmm. and not into the actual joint space because they feel very similar and those patients aren't getting worse. Mm -hmm. They might not get as, as, uh, as much improvement as they could, but they're not getting worse. <laughs>